Hi, welcome back to uh, the allotment and uh, there's been a little bit of input and work done over the last few days by myself and my wife and uh, somebody else helping us along. Basically to see the changes we've made, we've just added uh, three more of these raised um, beds using three pallet collars high. If you remember last time we just spoke about having this high so it's easy to maintain but I won't go into that, there's another video. So I want to show you while I'm talking about pallet collars. Uh, these came from bqdiy.com. When we did these, and this is the only reason I'm mentioning it, we take them to bits, the pins out, and we paint them up before bringing them up, and we dry them somewhere so they've got co covering. If you've bought some of these, and you've taken them to bits like we have, and I'm sure people do to paint them, and you find they won't go back together, uh, just to let you know, this is what's happened. You see on here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's four of these on each side of the hinge. One, two, three, four, yeah? What B&Q have done, and it's not a, um, a bad thing, they've changed the design of the hinge, so there's now one, two, three. So if you think you want to replace a part of it and you're just going to get another one, just make sure they've got the four hinge connections and not three. And when you put them back together, they all need to be three or four on each corner. That, that was all. That's just a point. Uh, I thought, why won't these go back together? No, that's what it was. Uh, the other thing that we've done is we've uh, cleared an area here next to the shed. And um, we've pegged it out, put small pegs so we can see what space we've got. And this is uh, going to be an eight by six, eight, six foot wide uh, greenhouse. Um, we're looking at a Palermo, I think it's called, a brand, and the reason we're looking at that is the glass, I should say the insulation, it's um, polycarbonate, poly sheet, is double thickness, double insulated, and it seems to have some quite good reviews. The other thing that before we put this up, and there will be another video, is that you can get some very expensive greenhouses, five, six thousand pounds, but that's not within our budget. You can get some two or three hundred pounds, and I think most of them are uh, really good. But I think the problem you've got is you must make sure your surface is flat when you do it. And I'm placing the emphasis on flat and not level, because if we've got some flat sheeting, like board we're gonna put on, on the floor here, uh, a base then that would be flat and then your, your frame goes flat and everything builds up on that so but we'll see how we get on when we put it up and we'll do another video um, I don't think there's a lot else gone on I'd say now we're just going to do this for people <coughs> it's the 30th of November 2022 and we do have a bit of sun we've had quite a bit of rain and I'm just going to show you how productive our there's only a little piece of guttering it's not loads how productive it's been so we're half full now that's a little bit of water saved so for the environment the other thing we're looking at doing um, is putting some bamboos here um, I think at the ends here basically to three bamboos one two three now what has surprised me about this is we've always grown bamboos and they're lovely. They provide shade, um, they provide a bit of a, a windbreak for plants because it's quite open this side. We won't show you that side because there's other vehicles there, but it's quite open. But the other thing I didn't know is that a bamboo is 30% more efficient at turning carbon into oxygen. And I do know that wildlife lo love bamboo and I know that because we once had bird nests in them. And they are a nice light feature so that's what we're looking at doing but at the moment cost is quite prohibitive but we'll see what we can do there might be some some about somewhere that we can get a, a deal on anyway that's really it on the allotment at the moment uh, we will be adding the H frames to these and I guess the next move we make is um, getting some soil delivered with a bit of fertilizer in it manure in it and what surprised me is I've been asking other people because they're really helpful on the allotment we're on there are plants I've seen people planting stuff and have asked so the, apparently there's leeks there's cabbage onions uh, one allotment here that's what P 
people are called on allotments, allotment tiers apparently, not the seven musketeers but allotment tiers, uh, even some strawberry plants. So we might, if we can get the soil delivered, have a go ourselves at getting something moving along a little bit, hopefully. Anyway, we'll come back to you probably in the next few days, We've got the greenhouse face down and then hopefully the greenhouse up and we'll look at the quality of that in case anybody else is interested in a greenhouse for home, garden or allotment. Thanks for watching.